guys, so today I really didn't have anything planned for a type of vlog, so <laughs> I decided that I would just cook with you guys and talk because now that I moved out, I have been cooking. I know, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, look. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I went on Pinterest and found a recipe that's like the shrimp bake where you put the shrimp and zucchini and peppers and corn and put it in a little aluminum foil thing and bake it in the oven. It's really easy. I'm making that for my second time now. But here's a story about anxiety. So I have anxiety. I have social anxiety. Um, and I went to go get shrimp at the store. I only needed one pound, but she accidentally gave me, I think she thought I said two pounds and I was too scared to say anything because I feel bad when she was doing it for a while and it looked like a lot, but I couldn't really tell. And then I was like, oh shit, it's two pounds. And I, it's not even scared, it's just I feel bad. And then I don't, I just, I don't know. I get anxious and I'm like, yeah, that's totally fine. I came home and now I'm going to cook half of it. Basically the pound that I need, I'm gonna leave for tonight. And then right now I'm cooking the other pound that I don't need, obviously. And then I'm gonna freeze it and store it for later because obviously we don't need two pounds you know that's a lot for two of us so that was a really long story <laughs> but now you know more about me so first of all i need it said to use four cups of water for every pound so i'll use four cups right it's not a lot i feel like my pot is too big is that a thing all right, we got it. Here she is, guys. This is a pound. So this is, like, she gave me two of these, basically. Like, I don't know. What did it say? Hold on, I have to get my instructions. <laughs> okay, it says, peel and devine the shrimp. I think the devining part is the poop part. Come on, that brown part. You can also boil in their shells if desired. No, honey, I don't do that. Put four cups of water per pound into a large pot. Bingo, I did that. Heat the water until it starts to boil. Uh-huh. Drop two to three handfuls of shrimp into the pot. Two to three handfuls, isn't that just the pound? Huh? See, this is why cooking is so hard. It doesn't explain it. When the shrimp are cooked, they will turn pink and float to the surface of the water. When the shrimp are cooked, they will turn pink and float to the surface of the water. I can cook fine, like if I have instructions, you know, but like I'm scared of killing people with raw meat. That's my biggest fear. And I feel like I panic for nothing. So <laughs> let's start doing this. Maybe I should move it down so you can see me. There is the finished product. Isn't she beautiful? That seriously took forever. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, let's go over to check our water and she's a boiling. So I'm gonna set you guys here so you can watch me fail at this. Just kidding. What a beautiful shot. I like how this video was supposed to be about me cooking my dinner and it's only about me cooking and freezing shrimp. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go for it and hope for the best. I'll do four. was exciting. I wish you guys could see what it looks like. All right, so I don't see any floating yet, but take a look at this beautiful creation that I made. They're, they're pinkish. So I mean, that looks pretty good. Basically, I'm gonna put all the shrimps on this pan and then put them in the freezer like it told me to do. And then um, we'll be done 
cooking shrimps. Okay. Okay, I can't do two things at once, okay? I know they're done. They look pretty much like shrimps. Now I'm gonna Google, how do you know when a shrimp is done? How do you know when a shrimp is cooked? It's pregnant. That was the search. When properly cooked, the exterior should be pink with red tails. Well, I don't have tails. And the flesh is slightly opaque and a little white in color. Here's where it gets confusing because a little white may vary from cook to cook. If it is bright white, then there's a good chance it is overcooked. You know how you can make shrimp? You can make lemon shrimp, you can make peeled shrimp, you can make garlic butter shrimp. It's the title of this. Make shrimp with me. That's a better title. Who doesn't like that? Watch me make shrimp for 20 minutes. 15 minutes is just the peeling. Yeah, I might have overcooked them. They look really tiny from what they started as. But you know what I'm gonna make with these? Kylie Jenner told me to make shrimp tacos. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I know I only named one thing, but I'm sure there's much more you can do with them. I'll show you guys right now. So here is my beautiful masterpiece of shrimps. There it focuses. That, I mean, now with that setting, it definitely looks like cooked shrimp, right? No one's worried for me. No one has to pray for me. I'm pretty sure they came out good. Does this look white white though or bright white? Because Google, I'm not sure. See, this is why people with anxiety shouldn't be allowed to cook because this has been the most traumatic experience for me, just cooking shrimp. And yes, um, I'm just gonna freeze these now and give me one moment. There she is. tucked away in there um <laughs> yeah so that was really stressful like people with anxiety like should not be cooking meat because it's really scary um so yeah so if this is your first time at my video i'm really sorry that's your first experience with me but now you know the struggles of being me and just cooking and living life i'm gonna end this video here just it's not even a video it's like a vlog a little snip of my life um, thank you guys for watching and if I'm back next week, you know, I'm fine. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I post videos on Sunday that are more put together and nicer than this, but this is what you got on Thursday.